Hi, I'm Claudine Regalado, a nursing student of the University of the Colvilleras, Level 2, Section G. This video is all about the nutrition of pregnancy and lactation. Some pregnant are asking if they will eat for two or do you need to double your daily intake? Not exactly. Here are some recommended weight gains based on pre-pregnancy weight. The normal recommended weight gain for the single birth is 25 to 35 pounds and the recommended weight gain for twin birth is 37.5. 54 pounds. Next, we have the component of weight gain during pregnancy. Here is the pictures of first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. During third trimester, there is a weight gain increase per pound. Increase in breast size, 2 pounds. Increase in mother's fluid volume, 4 pounds. Placenta, 1.5 pounds. Increase in blood supply to the placenta, 4 pounds. Amionic fluid, 2 pounds. Infant at birth, 7.5 pounds. Increase in size of uterus and supporting muscles, 2 pounds. And mother's necessary fatty stores is 7 pounds. So it equals to 30 pounds. Next is nutrition during pregnancy. We have five nutrition during pregnancy, which is strive, gain, eat, take, and refrain. Strive. Strive for good nutrition and health prior to pregnancy and get prenatal care during pregnancy. Gain. Gain a healthy amount of weight. Eat. Eat a balanced diet, safely prepared, and engage in physical activity regularly. Take. Take prenatal vitamin and mineral supplements as prescribed. Refrain. Refrain from cigarettes, alcohols, and drugs. Energy and nutrients needs during pregnancy. Here are the energy that needs for first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. For first trimester, plus 0 calories per day. For second trimester, plus 340 calories per day. For third trimester, plus 450 calories per day. Can easily get these added calories with nutrient-dense selections from Choose My Plate. Whole grain breads and cereals, ligaments, dark green leafy vegetables, citrus fruits, low-fat milk and milk products, and lean meats, fish, poultry, and eggs. Energy and nutrient needs during pregnancy. Carbohydrate, protein, essential fatty acids. For carbohydrate, 175 grams or more per day for protein 25 grams higher per day during pregnancy high protein supplements may be harmful to develop generally discouraged essential fatty acid omega-3 and omega-6 fast fatty acid assist in growth function and structure of brain Here's some vitamins that needs during pregnancy. Folate, vitamin B12, iron, zinc, vitamin D, and calcium. So, how do we get these nutrients? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you choose your plate. We have to make a healthy choices in each food group. The first group in the plate is fruit. Choose fresh, frozen, canned, or dried. 
2 cups per day. These fruits all provided potassium and many also provided vitamin E. When choose canned fruit, look for canned varieties in 100% fruit juice or water instead of heavy syrup. Next group is grains. Grains are contains fiber, vitamin B, and minerals. Next group is protein. Proteins are beans and peas also provided iron, potassium, and fiber. Meats also provide hemi-iron, which is the most readily absorbed type of iron. Nuts and seeds also contains vitamin E. Seafoods also provide omega-3, fatty acid, and variety is the key. Last group in the plate is vegetables. Choose fresh, frozen, canned, or dried. 3 cups per day. Good source of fiber, vitamin A, and potassium. If choosing canned vegetables, look for low sodium or no salt added on the label. When eating more is a challenge. First, to meet increased nutrient demands of pregnancy, make a smart choice. Second, be sure to include a variety of bug brand colors in your fruit and vegetable selection. Third, eat frequently. This can make it easier to up your intake of calories, protein, and essential vitamins and minerals. Here are the strategies to alleviate maternal discomfort. First is nausea. When suffering nausea, on walking, arise slowly, eat dry toast or cracker, chew gum or suck on hard candies, eat small frequently meals, avoid foods with offensive odors. When nauseated, drink carbonated beverage instead of citrus juice, water, milk, coffee, and tea. Another maternal discomfort is constipation. When suffering constipation, eat foods high in fiber which is fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Exercise regularly. Drink at least 8 glasses of liquids a day. Respond promptly to urge. Use laxative only as prescribed by physician. The last maternal discomfort is heartburn. When suffering heartburn, the pregnant woman should relax and eat slowly. Chew food thoroughly. Eat small frequent meals. Drink liquids between meals. Avoid the spicy and greasy foods. Sit up while eating. Elevate the head while sleeping. Wait 3 hours after eating before lying down. And wait 2 hours after eating before exercising. Here are the tips of exercise during pregnancy. Exercise can be an important part of your daily routine during pregnancy. Here are some benefits if you do the exercise during pregnancy. It helps improve circulations, may prevent varicose veins, and help to prevent excess weight gains. Give you more energy, a better night stress, improve postures, Decrease back pain. Work with your doctor to determine what is the appropriate for you based on the pre-pregnancy activity level, stage of pregnancy, and risk factors. Now, we will proceed to the nutrition needs while breastfeeding. Here are some highlighted nutritional needs. When you are breastfeeding, you have a higher need for some vitamins and minerals than when you did while pregnant. To produce an adequate supply of milk, extra energy is needed. 
first to six months plus 330 calories per day, second to six months plus 400 calories calcium. Both you and your baby needs calcium and strong bones and teeth. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium, the sunshine vitamin, or you may need supplementation. Protein Eat daily to meet your energy needs and preserve your own muscle mass. DHA DHA is crucial to the development of your baby's body nervous system. All breast milk contains DHA, but levels of it are higher in the milk of women who get more DHA from their diets. DHA may also help your mood. May play a role in preventing postpartum depression. Zinc During this time, you need 50% more zinc than you need before you were pregnant. Helps your immune system as well as your babies. Vitamin B12 Serves a variety of functions. Help the body release energy. Vital role in the function of the nervous system and aid in the formation of red blood cells. Choline Brain development and cognition. Even you are pregnant or lactating, you have to follow the plate. There are five nutritional needs in the plate, which is fruits, grains, vegetables, protein, and dairy. If you are lactating, you have to maintain hydration. While breastfeeding, your fluid needs increase. Here are some suggestions. Drink a glass of water or other low-calorie beverage every time you breastfeed. Limit beverage such as soft drinks and fruit drinks that contain added sugars. Use caution when drinking beverage containing caffeine or alcohol. Drinking a moderate amount up to 2-3 to three cups per day of coffee or other caffeinated beverage does not affect your baby. You can continue to breastfeed and have an occasional alcoholic beverage if you are conscious. Wait until your baby has a routine breastfeeding pattern at least 3 months of age. Wait at least 4 hours after having a single alcoholic drink before breastfeeding or Express breast milk before having a drink and use it to feed your baby. Next is weight loose while breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is the best for moms and their babies, providing nourishment and helping to protect your baby against becoming sick. Help you lose your weight gain in pregnancy. Breastfeeding may make it easier to lose weight because you are using extra calories to feed your infant. Weight loss should be gradual for the first 6 months after childbirth. Wait until after weaning your baby to start a weight loss diet. Women who breastfeed exclusively for more than 3 months tend to lose more weight than those who do not. Those who continue breastfeeding beyond 4 to 6 months may continue to lose weight. Dietary Supplements Some breastfeeding women may need a vitamin and mineral supplement. Talk with your doctor about taking a supplement while you are breastfeeding. Here are some medical conditions and allergies, which is diabetes, Celiac disease, renal disease, and phenylketonuria. Other women may have specific needs because of a food allergy, such as eggs, nuts, or wheat allergy. If you have a food allergy, 
ask your doctor for advice about your choices while you are pregnant or breastfeeding. If you have any allergies on your family has a history of allergies, ask your doctor about avoiding common food allergens such as peanuts while you are pregnant or breastfeeding. If you are breastfeeding and your baby has a medical condition or food allergy, visit your doctor and follow his or her advice about your food choices. That's the end of the video. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.